Welcome to this uh, next video on um, learning on shape. We're going to be looking at um, opening a new part studio, renaming parts, and creating chamfers and fillets. So, from our previous design, if we want to create multiple parts of one object, rather than creating lots of documents, if I click in the bottom left hand corner, I can create a new parts studio. And you'll see once it's loaded up, it looks exactly the same as the place that we created our previous parts. If I right click on it, I can rename it whatever I want. That will help me keep track of it. So I'm just going to quickly follow my normal procedure. This time I'm going to do a center point rectangle. And as usual, I'm going to start in the middle to keep everything nice and neat. It's going to be 50 wide and we make it 100 long. I'll change my view just to keep it again nice and consistent and extrude it to a height of 50. Now, if you look at most desks or furniture, we want to try and avoid sharp edges like this so that people don't hurt themselves. So you could create that by creating a sketch here, the inverse of what you want, and then removing it, like we did with the hole through our cylinder. But there's a quicker way to do it than that. If I click on this button here, it says chamfer, I can then select the surface I want to chamfer, and then you can see it's already showing me what it's gonna look like. I'll change that to 10 millimeters and click tick. I can also, with that chamfer, let's select another surface. If I use the drop down here, I can select two distances. So if I look at it like so, and I change this to 20, so we make it quite exaggerated, you can see it's gone 20 millimeters down on this side and five millimeters in. Let's make that eight millimeters. And tick. So that's chamfers. If I look at the bottom of my part, I can also create fillets, and you might think of fillets as rounds. So if I click that, this time I want all four of these surfaces to be rounded, so I could either click that one surface, or if I click in the middle, it'll select all four for me. And you can see straight away, it's rounded, that surface. If I take that as 10, then it's a big fillet. For the time being, I wouldn't bother playing with the drop down. It's a little bit beyond where we need to be for the minute. This is just a quick way to create rounds. And tick, and that's made. So that's creating a new part studio, renaming the part, fillets and chamfers.